Hi, in this video, we will detect the hammer candlestick pattern on chart with signals on stochastics. That is, stochastics should be rising for two bars and it should be above 20 level. So here is the idea that I want to signal the day or a bar which is a hammer by itself and stochastics indicator is rising for at least two bars with readings above 20 level. So the indicators which are required here is is candle pattern first which will detect the hammer pattern for me. Then I need stochastics on which I will put range up count indicator which will detect whether it is rising for two bars or not and then using binary operation condition I will put a signal on stochastics wherever it is rising for two bars and using is above level I will again put a signal on stochastics where the stochastic reading is above 20 level and then finally I will combine all these signals together to form just one signal which I can use in my group scan to filter out such stocks. So let me show you how it can be constructed on our chart. Let me open one chart here. I will open Walkhart Pharma. So this is the daily chart of Walkhart Pharma I have in front of me, correct? The first indicator that I need to plot is, is candle pattern. So let me put candle pattern here. Okay, I don't want this. I want a condition. Oh, sorry, I want a pattern. So here it is. I Hammer is a bullish reversal uh, pattern. So it will be available here. Let me drop this down to find hammer. Okay, here it is. So this is a long condition for me. And this is a hammer. If you notice, I'm getting a green arrow out here, which is a hammer. Let me look back. I'm getting a green arrow over here as well, right? So it is detecting hammer on my chart. Let me put stochastics indicator now. So this is stochastics with default input. Let me go next, change the thickness. So here is stochastics. On stochastics, I want to put a condition where it should be above 20 level. So let me go to add and go to conditions category here. So I want is above level. Okay, I want this. The data line input should be stochastics K. It should be above 20 level, right? So this is the condition on stochastics. So this is stochastics above 20 level. Let me go next and plot this signal on stochastic subgraph. I will click on apply. So I'm getting green arrows on stochastics indicator where the reading is above 20 level. I need to put one more condition on stochastics that it should be rising for at least two bars, right? So for that, I need to plot an indicator as range up count. So here it is. The data line should be stochastics K and the number of bars it should be rising is minimum two. So include the current bar is okay. So stochastics, okay, rising for two bars. This is not a signal. This will just plot an indicator on the subgraph, right? So here is the indicator, right? Here we have the number two. So here it is rising for two bars. Here it is rising for two bars. Over here it was not rising, it was actually falling. So it is at a zero level. So wherever you see this level, so this is the place where stochastic is rising for minimum two bars, right? Okay, so now on this, let me put one more condition as binary operation. So here I need to specify range up count so which is this stochastic rising for two bars, it should be more than one. So if it is more than one, it means it is rising for two bars, right? So this uh, stock is rising for two bars signal. So this is actually a signal. 
let me plot this on this subgraph over here i'll click on apply right okay so these are the places where stochastic is rising for minimum two bars okay now i need to combine these three signals together and see where actually i'm getting a final signal so let me click on add i will go to add adding of three signals this time because i have three signals on chart which i need to combine all those signals are available in a by signal category because i chose long action for all three of them so one is hammer the other is stochastics above 20 level and the other is stochastic is rising for two bar signal so this is long it is quite possible that you will not get all three signals on one bar so you can make it three bars or two bars whatever your choice is so here is the hammer final right okay so let me go next and click on uh, let me take yellow color for the signal i will click on apply let me hide these three signals now i don't want it so i just want the final signal to be there i don't want even hammer okay so here is the signal i'm getting so there was a hammer here the stochastic at this point was not rising it just rose uh, for one time and here it rose by one bar and here it rose for two bars and here the stochastic reading went above 20 level right so this is the place where all three conditions met for last three bars and hence i have a signal here let me go back and show you sig uh, show you more signal like this okay so here i have a hammer the stochastic was also rising up till here so this is actually a three bar set in which it will look for all three conditions so there's a hammer here on this bar the stochastic was rising for two bars and it was above 20 level hence we got a signal over here right so let me go back and look for more signals okay this is the place again where stochastic is rising for two bars there is a hammer hammer over here and the reading is also above 20 levels so this is the way you can plot signals of such kind on chart and finally you can take this in group scan to filter out stocks so i think you all understood thank you very much for watching this video in case of any queries do email us at support at reliable.co.in or you can call at 0224091890 for support thank you very much all bye bye